For the first time, the original Nintendo 64 release of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is now playable on PC with an unlocked frame rate, 4K resolution, free camera and mod support. The team at Harbor Masters, the developers of the Ocarina of Time PC port, have been hard at work on their newest port, to ship to Harkinian. I've already made a comprehensive guide on their previous project, which you can find linked in the description, but as today marks the official release of version 1.0.0, I thought I'd make a video going over how to install and use their new port. As the development team pushes out new updates, I'll make new videos that will cover more extensively custom texture support, modding and other new features as they become available. But with all that being said, let's jump straight into the installation process. So the first step of the installation process is going to be actually downloading the mod itself, and for that I'll leave two links in the description below, one to the Harbour Master 64 Discord and the other to their GitHub page. Both work really well and both uh, will provide you with all the downloads you need, um, but it's just to give you the choice between uh, whatever one you prefer. So for on the Discord anyway, we're going to be going to the announcements channel, and at the bottom here you will see the 2S2H downloads link. This will take you straight to the GitHub. Uh, or sorry, this link will take you straight to the GitHub. And this uh, here you can see the uh, Rika Alpha 1.0.0, which is the latest and official release of this mod. So you've got three options here. I'm going to be choosing Windows because that's what this guide is going to be for. I'm not too sure how much Linux and Mac will be different, but uh, I'm sure hopefully uh, soon enough there'll be guides for those. But for now, let's just click on Windows. It's a fairly small file, so it won't take too long to download. But once that's done, just drag it onto your desktop. And the next thing that we want to be installing is the MMHD uh, Super Pack, which is from this person called Turpinator on the Discord. And this is going to be a, a, basically a UI overhaul or a HD UI for uh, the port. It's, it's a work in progress, obviously. The, uh, the mod has just come out. Uh, so I highly recommend you come to the Discord and download this yourself because chances are there will already be a different version available. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to click this and that will take me uh, to the download for this. Again, a fairly small file, so... And nothing to worry about there, and same as before, just drag that onto your desktop when you're done. So once these two files are installed, go ahead and extract them on your desktop to wherever you want them to be. I'm going to extract them to the same folder just for simplicity, so I've only got one file. And once it's extracted, you're going to open up the file here, and you'll see you've got a fairly nice selection of files. There's nothing too crazy going on here. Uh, and this file here, MMHD OTR, is actually the um, UI overhaul. So the first thing we're going to go and do is drag this into the mods folder. And that is that installed, that's all you've got to do. As you can see, uh, the text file here says custom mod files go here. So for future reference, if you're ever installing anything, whether it be textures or mods, uh, it just needs to be dropped into here. Uh, it's as simple as that. So once you've dragged that file into your mods folder, go ahead and double click on the 2ship.exe here. Uh, it might pop up with a Windows uh, protected your PC pop up, uh, but don't worry, I can assure you it's perfectly safe. Uh, so uh, once that's done, it will say no O2R files found, generate one now. Go ahead and click yes on that box and also no ROMs found, look for one. Now you're going to have to navigate to wherever you keep your ROM. So for me, I keep it on my downloads folder here. It's in here, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, so wherever you've got that, just go and navigate. Ideally, you can also just drag the ROM file into the, this folder and it will automatically detect it. Whatever works for you, it's totally up to you. So once that's done, it's going to go in ahead and install everything it needs to. It shouldn't take too long. Um, and once that's done, the game should simply launch up as a fairly small window in the corner here. And uh, note that you should probably have your uh, uh, controller already uh, connected here. I'm going to go down and turn down the volume just for um, just for uh, convenience. Uh, but otherwise, if you have your controller connected, it should automatically map everything. Uh, itself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press F1. You'll see there's a little icon in the bottom right there which will tell you to do that. So once we press F1 we'll be greeted with this menu at the top. First thing we're going to want to do is head over to settings and controller mapping. This is a fairly complex looking menu but uh, it, again like I said it should just automatically map everything on your controller. But one thing you are going to want to do is remove all of the C-Stick bindings. Uh, you can configure this how you want, whenever you want to, but I find that this just confuses the camera because we're going to be enabling the free camera, of course. Um, D-pad, leave all that, everything else should be fine. But if you're going to, if you come down here to where it says additional right stick, uh, this will be unmapped by default, but basically this is how your camera is going to work. So uh, essentially just map this to all of your buttons for your right stick. One thing I will say though, it's probably a good idea to swap your up and down buttons. So for up, press down on the right stick and for down, 
press up on the right stick because for some reason the camera is inverted by default and I can't seem to find a way to uh, actually disable that. So uh, you play around with it and see what works for you if you like the um, inverted camera, but I personally definitely don't, so <laughs> I switched that out. But uh, that's all you need for, um, for your uh, controller configuration. So we can come out of there. Next thing we're going to want to do is come over to graphics. Internal resolution, don't do anything with this. Uh, this is just going to set it to what your current resolution is of your monitor. So for me it's 4K, so it's automatically going to set it to 4K. I wouldn't play with this because if you set it too high it's going to do some weird things and obviously setting it too low is going to make the game look really grainy and we don't want that since we're running this on a PC port. Uh, MSAA, I would leave this as it is. You can play around with it like I said, but uh, I think it looks perfectly fine as it is by default. And FPS, by default that will be set to the original 20. I recommend bumping this to wherever your current um, frame rate is. So for me, I'm at 144. I can also click the max match refresh rate button here, and that will set it to 144 for me. And you can immediately notice there's a massive difference in the smoothness of the video. Um, so that's great, that's exactly what we want. Uh, jitter fix. Uh, I think this is more to do with like some animations might look a little bit strange. Um, I remember with the ship of Harkini and that was the case, but um, I haven't run into any issues so far, so I would just leave that as it is, uh, and everything else we can leave uh, as well. After that, we're going to want to come over to the Enhancements tab, and under Camera, enable the Free Look option here. Uh, I would recommend setting your uh, horizontal sensitivity to about 2. By default, it's going to be down at 1, but I set it to about 2. It tends to just be a little bit more responsive. You can also configure the distance at which the camera is from Link. Um, and that's everything under camera. Under cutscenes, you can do a couple things here. I'm going to turn off story cutscenes and intro sequence just to make the loading into the game a bit faster so I can get straight to gameplay. That's obviously totally up to you, though, when you, uh, whether or not you enable that. Saving and time signal, uh, time cycle, sorry. Uh, there's a pause menu save option. This basically adds in the save fe uh, feature from Ocarina of Time. Uh, I don't recommend this for a first time playthrough because it kind of removes some of the tension of the three day cycle uh, But I'm gonna leave that on for myself just now um, That's also you have options for the, uh, the time cycle here Like you can completely negate the function of the time cycle if you want to but I don't recommend that since that is the whole point of the game uh, But other than that under dialogue I recommend enabling fast text because the default text on the N64 version is really slow D-pads, uh, enable D-pad equips. This will allow you to equip items to your D-pad. Incredibly useful, uh, especially if you've played Ship of Harkinian, you'll know how useful of a uh, feature this is. Um, fixes, nothing under here is too... Uh, I've never had any issues so far. Mind you, I've only played a small amount of the game, but uh, I'd imagine more stuff will be added to here as, you know, hiccups get noticed by various people who are playing. Under, gra under uh, graphics, I recommend just leaving that as it is, and uh, under masks, enable fast transformation. Uh, this basically just gets rid of the very lengthy um, cutscene that plays out whenever you want to transform masks. Uh, but other than that, everything else is is, is perfectly fine. Uh, you could set under here to D-pad Ocarina, that'll allow you to play the Ocarina with the D-pad instead of the <laughs> buttons, uh, but personally I don't really have a problem with using the buttons, so that's more up to you really. But other than that, that's everything that we can do under uh, enhancements just now. We also have had a couple of options under the cheats and developer tools. I, I wouldn't recommend playing around with these uh, unless you really want to just start like breaking the game. Uh, I, I'd imagine most of you will be playing this just for enjoyment's sake. So uh, these are only really for if you want to like test things. But there's a couple of really cool options under here. And I, I imagine eventually we'll be getting stuff like... Uh, randomizers and such like we do have on Ship of Arcanian, so definitely keep an eye on this area. Uh, I think there'll be a lot more added to this in the future. But other than that, that is essentially everything we need to do for the configuration process. So once everything's done, you're happy with your controllers, your graphics, your frame rate, your resolution, hit F1 to get rid of that menu, and then F11, and that'll full screen the game. And from here, you can just click A and uh, start the game as you would any other playthrough. So once I uh, create this play this account here, I will load into Clock Town and I'll show you exactly what it looks like with the free camera and uh, all the fancy bells and whistles. And here we are in Clock Town. Everything is loaded. We have the uh, HD HUD you can see. 
uh, in the top as well. The free camera is working as well, which is great. We can move the right stick. Uh, it's a lot more responsive than it is by default, I've found. So that's awesome. And the dog is still here, unfortunately. Uh, but other than that, everything's working perfectly. The only issue you might have is the HD HUD might not uh, appear. If it doesn't, simply press tab. Uh, for some reason, that just toggles it on and off. I have no idea why. Uh, but that is how you enable it if for some reason you load in and it's not showing for you. Um, again, any issues you have, the Discord is super helpful. I really recommend going there and checking uh, them out because they'll probably have the answer to your problems. Uh, unless someone else has already um, asked that same question for you. But other than that, yeah, the game is fully functional. The entire game is playable uh, like this. As I said, this is the official 1.0.0 release of the game. And uh, I can Im only imagine things will get better from here on out. Uh, and like I said, once stuff like custom texture packs and all that become more sort of uh, widespread, I'll make an updated video going over about how you can go about installing that. And as well as covering any other changes that the developers make along the way. But uh, other than that, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial, and I hope you enjoy playing Majora's Mask. It's super exciting to be able to play this on PC, the official um, N64 release, uh, because I had such a great time with Ocarina of Time, and uh, I've always wanted to be able to play this N64 release on PC as well, with all the resolution, high resolution and high frame rates. So it's great that we're able to do that. But yeah, like I said, Hope you enjoyed and hope you enjoy playing the game.